This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Let's take a look at our surface map and the monster storm with millions in its path is moving out into the Atlantic Ocean. But uh, as it does, it's still providing a good deal of snow across the mid-Atlantic states and some uh, advisories are still in effect up there. We'll get to those in just a moment. The upper low is also beginning to move uh, into the East Coast area and will be moving offshore over the next uh, 24 hours. In the meantime, across the United States, it's rather chilly with uh, just lots of 20 values and uh, lots of areas in the blue that are below freezing. Across central Alabama, temperatures are pretty uniform with readings uh, generally between about 29 and 31 across the area. We're still seeing, because of the clouds, a few snow flurries, but no additional significant snow is expected, and all of the winter weather advisories have expired for the state of Alabama. Speaking of uh, watch warning map, there is a look at the watch warning map, and, and since uh, I printed this one or saved this one, uh, the winter weather advisories for Alabama have expired. But you can see that there's still a good deal uh, of winter weather advisories from East Tennessee and the eastern half of Kentucky up into the mid-Atlantic states. And those red areas you see around uh, parts of uh, uh, northern Virginia and uh, Maryland, Delaware, and into New Jersey, those red areas are blizzard advisories. QPF-wise, over the next five days, we're expecting uh, another weather system along the Gulf Coast uh, at midweek, and that will be bringing some rain, especially to the coastal areas. It looks like a front dragging through our area on Tuesday and into Wednesday will bring a, probably on the order of a half to three quarters of an inch. And fortunately, with all the cold weather, there's not much to talk about when it comes to severe weather. Uh, day one, the Storm Prediction Center has a few thunderstorms possible along uh, the mid-Atlantic states and over in California. And uh, days two and three are not much different. All right, let's take a look at the uh, 060 GFS model run this morning. And there goes our monster storm uh, out into the Atlantic. Uh, that will be uh, moving away from us. And by Sunday, it's uh, out into the Atlantic, and much of the precipitation is now over. So that means the mid-Atlantic states can start digging out. And uh, in the upper atmosphere, the big trough that was uh, helping to produce that surface low has also moved out. And we're coming under more or less a northwesterly flow pattern as a ridge begins to approach us. That ridge comes over us on Monday, but uh, another uh, a fairly strong short wave is coming out of the central plains. And that will generate a surface low uh, over Missouri with a trailing cold front down into east Texas on Monday. That uh, system will move uh, into the southern Great Lakes area, Illinois, Indiana, on Tuesday. So the surface low should move up into the Great Lakes with the cold front dragging Tuesday down into the southeastern United States and across the state of Alabama. So I think uh, Tuesday is primarily our um, main day for precipitation. Uh, the system uh, does a little something. Um, it's, it's not untypical to see this, but the upper trough... Um, in the northern area, the Great Lakes kind of becomes detached from the southern trough, and uh, we'll see we see that happen at uh, at midweek here as uh, the surface low moves on uh, up into the Canadian eastern Canadian provinces, but the front drags down into the cold uh, into the Gulf Coast area uh, on. Um, Wednesday morning and, and into the early afternoon. With that split flow, we uh, create a bit of a closed, uh, almost a closed low, a fairly strong shortwave trough over the central Gulf Coast on Thursday. This is where the models have some uh, differences in their solutions. The patterns that they both create are similar, but the GFS is further to the south, especially with uh, the low. Uh, it, it actually uh, forms that low over uh, just off the west coast of Florida, uh, pretty far south in the vicinity of Tampa, and moves it up into the southwestern Atlantic. Uh, the Euro, on the other hand, forms it closer to the coast. The Euro would suggest that we might have some rain up this way on Thursday, but we'll go with the GFS for now uh, as a, that solution looks pretty uh, reasonable. The troughs uh, move on by on Friday, and we come under a bit of a northwesterly flow, uh, but we don't get much northerly flow as the surface high is over the Gulf. So uh, we'll see a few degrees of coolness, but uh, Friday is not going to be an especially cold day. Uh, by Saturday, 
We're uh, coming back under the ridge and also the flow going much more southwesterly. So that should mean a nice warm up. And at the surface, as the surface high moves over Florida, we come under a southerly and a southwesterly surface flow as well. So that's really good. That should warm us up nicely for the weekend. Looking out into voodoo country uh, around uh, uh, the evening of the first and into the second, we have a very strong closed upper low coming out of the Four Corners area. Uh, this certainly has a very uh, serious look to it with the potential for some severe weather over the lower Mississippi River Valley as well as the potential for a serious winter storm over uh, the Midwestern states uh, from Denver uh, up into the Dakotas. So we'll definitely be watching how that evolves with time. The GFS suggests that we go into a zonal flow pattern uh, in the middle of uh, week two, around the 5th of, of February. And then by the time we get out to the 7th, it shows how active the pattern is. We see another uh, trough coming across the central United States that would provide us with another weather system to deal with. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted on Sunday morning. Due to some uh, personal plans, I may be a little bit late with that tomorrow morning. Uh, so don't look for it bright and early at 7 o'clock, but maybe a little bit later. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. Hope you have a great day and Godspeed.